So I've been doing a lot of research in Southern California on uh, mesh tastic, setting up uh, mesh tastic nodes, doing sensor stuff, really kind of feeling out stuff and getting comfortable with teaching other people about how it works. There is a lot of stuff out here. And I have a little node that I'm running currently. I just wanted to show off kind of what it looks like and what currently is going on. So I have all of these nodes that I've discovered. Um, this is, oh wait, I'm not even showing my screen. Sorry, our, our silent partner, Bill, has departed and I forgot that I now have to show my screen by default. There we go. All right, so this is these are all of the nodes that I've discovered um, in the Southern California area. Uh, and many of these are, are new Nugget nodes, but uh, sorry, like five of them are like our new Nugget nodes. The rest of them are all other people's nodes that are broadcasting and doing cool stuff. Um, so I have one of them that is doing sensor logging. I have SenseNug, which is my current one. Um, and this is broadcasting environmental metrics. You can see the temperature in here is 72 degrees. And then I have another sensor, which is very close by. And then this one, for whatever reason, doesn't want to show me a graph, but that's OK. Um, and I can see it's 81 degrees outside. So 71 in here, 81 degrees outside. It's good to know. Um, I've got another sensor. Let's see if I can see. Oh, this one's not showing environmental logs. But anyway, a lot of these are actually showing their location. Most of them aren't. So there is a giant sneaker net in Los Angeles. And by Los Angeles, I also mean like Southern California in general. And to give you a uh, kind of idea of the scope of this, I wanted to show a map of the uh, SoCal sneaker net um, that makes up the, the SoCal mesh network network. So let's say that I wanted to send a message and I am all the way up in Simi Valley. So odds are that if I'm in this area, I can reach one of the nodes that's around here. And here we can see there's one, two, three nodes up in the San Fernando slash Simi Valley area. Um, and in general, if I, oops, if I wanted to send a message up to here, um, I can usually do that. And this will be um, through a series of other nodes. So it's going to commit hop. So let's say that I'm in Chatsworth and I send a message over here uh, to this node. It's going to forward it over to one of these nodes, which is on a hill, or all the way over to this node, which is on a mountain. It's going to propagate out to this area and hit one of the repeaters that's in um, downtown Los Angeles, of which there are several. Um, so I'm actually not even seeing all of them. But there's lots of repeaters in this area. And then there's also a number of repeaters up along uh, the mountains um, here that will bounce signals um, with line of sight that are incredibly strong. So over in Pasadena, if we hit either of these two mountains, it's going to radiate our signal all the way around here. And we could, through this network of repeaters, let me zoom out a little bit. Here's one in Gardena. Uh, it was very easy for us to talk to Signal Hill in Long Beach, which will then propagate out to this area. And then eventually, this network goes, ah, not that far. This network goes all the way down to Irvine, California. Um, so I'm very impressed by this. In a test yesterday, we were able to continue on all the way down to, actually, no, all the way down to San Diego. Um, so there actually are nodes that go all the way down past Carlsbad. And we were getting pings off of networks that were along the border, basically. Now, whether or not that communication is consistent or somebody was like providing a temporary bridge, maybe there was just like, you know, it was the right time and like things just happened to go through. I don't know. But based on a relatively short mapping of this geographic area, there's a significant number of nodes around here that are providing services to anybody who is running a mesh network. So the channel utilization seems relatively good. Um, so if you're looking for a cool sneaker net and you live in a populated area, you may see the same thing where people have started to pop these up. I've seen around Salt Lake City, San Francisco, Seattle, a lot of these nodes start to appear. So especially anywhere that has like a tech scene, you're going to see a lot of people, a lot of like amateurs and hobbyists like running these. I just got my uh, one of my friends into Mesh Attic a couple days ago and he's already like beginning to like do like network, like, uh, like engineering and, and architecture to like figure out his ideal system. So <clears throat> if you're interested in sneaker nets, if you're interested in um, encrypted mesh networking, um, you know, the, the argument used to be you would have to like set things up yourself and just assume there are no other nodes out there. But now that's no longer true. I'm connected to the whole mesh network. And uh, yeah, I find this to be one of the most satisfying like personal projects to work on that I've done because I'm probably going to be doing a meetup about this. Um, I would like to maybe bring people over to like Null Space Labs, get everyone together and talk about Meshtastic. So 
if anybody's interested, uh, let me know. Um, I think that this would be cool to get people together in the SoCal area and talk about it. But yeah, um, pretty, pretty cool.